Okay, guys. Ask me your thoughts after a thorough win in the end. A thorough win in the end. Your yeah, uh, it was a difficult game uh, for two reasons. Once uh, we played against a good side who is unbeaten in Italy for a long, long time, and you could see why. And secondly, Subconsciously, we were in a protective mode and played a little bit with a handbrake uh, from a start on. And instead of turning the game forward, we played backwards. And uh, that's always the best way to invite your opponent to be dangerous. After that, uh, when we were one nil down, you could see straight away the response was in the team. And uh, as soon as we pushed forward, we looked dangerous. And uh, I believe overall, we won the two games. Uh, uh, and finished the game in a convincing way. It was a good game and uh, against a solid team and we, we needed to be uh, resilient and disciplined. Uh, but we made the big part and the best part of the job in the first game. But it's always difficult to finish a job, especially when you have a good away result because you don't know a little bit in between. And that's always difficult. There's a fluidity about the game today, Arsene. That fluidity hasn't been there of late. Is this a good foundation to build on for the, for the rest of the season? Yes, of course. Uh, as I told you many times, we had a, we had a nightmare week. And uh, to recover from that, uh, you need to be uh, mentally strong. You need to be solid. And uh, the team needs to show a together response. That's what we did, you know. And uh, overall, I uh, think uh, uh, many uh, people didn't expect us to respond like we did. And uh, that shows that the team is uh, healthy, has a good basis. And uh, uh, we have seen that for many teams, it's difficult to win uh, at home uh, when you have done a good result away from home. When did you make Danny's penalty? I think the consensus seems to be that he went down quite easily for his penalty. I haven't seen it uh, again. Would you, would you want your players Do you to You want to accuse the English players to be divers or? No, but you did say they were the masters, didn't you? No, I don't know. Honestly, I haven't. Uh, there's two things. Was it penalty or not? I don't know. It, uh, Italian players were not happy with it. I can understand that because uh, I don't really know what it was. After that, Danny took the penalty in a convincing way. And I will uh, watch it again and give you my honest feeling about it, you know. But, uh, to, you give him his, your honest feeling about it, if you watch it back and view it as a dive, will you I will give him my honest feeling about it as well, don't worry. What, um, what can this do, now you've got obviously a quarter-final to come, just in terms of the atmosphere around the club and having a, another European title to look forward to, what, what effect can that have on the squad and, and the club in general over the next uh, for, Certainly for the climate around the team, it was a vital result for us tonight, you know. Uh, uh, apart from that, uh, uh, we have targets as well now to finish as close as possible to the top four and why not uh, uh, benefit from a miracle, but as well uh, focus on the quarter-final now. Um, Hassan, uh, there's Atletico Madrid, there's um, Sporting Lisbon, there's Olympique de Marseille. Is there any team that you would like to avoid in the draw tomorrow? Maybe the team who is the uh, biggest favourite is Atletico Madrid. And, uh, but anyway, uh, what I like doesn't matter too much because I have no influence on it, you know. We have to wait for tomorrow and see who we get. If we get Atletico Madrid, we get Atletico Madrid. We have uh, uh, now some time to recover and prepare for it. Your, your players seem to be doing really well in cup competitions of recent year, in recent years. Is there anything particularly you put that down to? Why there's Look, uh, we made 75 points last year. We're one point short in the championship. And it's the first time in the history of the Premier League where you don't qualify for the Champions League with 75 points. The year before, we finished second in the league. So it's true that this year we struggled, but to our away results, not our home results, you know. So uh, I wouldn't like to go too quickly to that kind of conclusion. We have done well as well in the Cups uh, because we were in the last five years we're four times in the cup final, and uh, that means that uh, we have mental resources to turn up when it's uh, demanded. But it's difficult. Uh, uh, when you lose a cup final in the middle of a season, it's very difficult to recover from it, you know. And uh, uh, that's why the League Cup is situated. It would be interesting uh, 
you know, there's many stats coming out at the moment. It would be interesting to see uh, uh, how well do the teams do when they play the League Cup final after for the rest of the season. We had Southampton last year, you know, who dropped after dramatically in the final part of the season and it cost the job for Puel. And uh, it happened many, many times here at Birmingham when we lost in the final as well. It is a uh, difficult uh, after that, to keep the focus of the players. And uh, overall, I, uh, I'm convinced that uh, the team is strong and healthy, and uh, we, we, uh, we recovered from that. And uh, hopefully, we have can f to focus on something uh, important now. And the second thing I wanted to say is that uh, it's difficult to do well in the Championship and in the Europa League. There's a statistic has come out. It shows that in all the championships, the team who play in the Europa League struggle everywhere in the big five leagues. You said this today about the crowd thing. It looks like you've got the crowd back on your side tonight. Does it feel like maybe you've turned the corner with the crowd? The crowd is, uh, I said many times, the crowd will be behind our back. This club is uh, loved. We have a big fan base. If we have the results and we have the way to play football, the crowds will be behind us. The crowd, uh, when are not on our side, is to show their disappointment. So we have to accept that. That's our job to get them on uh, behind us. There were some, still some more empty seats, but do you think they will continue to come back now that you're into the latter stage of the competition? Yeah, yeah. That's. Uh, uh, first of all, not everybody can uh, come on Thursday night, but uh, I think uh, it was a good attendance, good crowd tonight. Positive one as well. He got the kick at his back. Uh, we don't think it's uh, bad, but he cramped up and he couldn't go on. Last one. A bit of a gap between now and your next fixture. What will the team do? Will, will, will they go away somewhere or what's the plan? Look, uh, we have uh, all the players go away with on international duties. We have four players left. Four of a whole squad. But some of them go as well with the under 21, you know. So we have four players left. Uh, we, we mix work and uh, recovery, but uh, we have more coaches than players in the next week. <laughs>